But before I want to go any further, I want you to hear from Chief Marco because he knows the perspective of law enforcement on this issue. Chief. Well, good afternoon, and uh, thank you all for, for being here. I, um, I won't speak with the same vitriol towards SB4. Speak, um, I'll speak specifically to what SB4 is. In, in essence, in our community, it won't change anything. SB4's um, final version mirrors the policies that we've had in place for many years. And we have managed to maintain open and honest communication with our citizens without racial profiling, without undue harm among our citizens. And we've, uh, we've done so in a manner that's built relationships, not destroyed them. SB4, remember, it still adheres to the same tenets of, of uh, lawful detention. We can't stop you and detain you without a lawful reason, mean, meaning a criminal act, right? Our officers have always had the discretion to ask about your immigration status. We don't do that here normally because we've built a culture of trust and honesty among our citizens. We've not had the right policy to avoid that. So you have a good police department. You have great relationships with your police department and your citizenry. So I'm gonna repeat myself. Let cooler heads prevail. This law doesn't go into effect until September 1. But when I, it does go into effect, I think it'll be much like the open carry law. It'll be much to do about nothing. We will maintain, and we're gonna work hard as your police department to maintain our relationship. Now, we will do everything we can to make sure that our citizens feel safe, to make sure they feel like they're not being targeted, make sure there's not racial profiling going on, right? The biggest change in SB4, the biggest change with SB4 is actually for police chiefs and sheriffs, right? I can be criminally prosecuted if I try to discourage our officers through policy to not ask about immigration status. Fortunately, I, I work in a culture of policing that I don't need to do so. Right? We've never had to do so. Our officers practice what we call common sense, right? Common sense policing that is fair and equitable to the community it serves. So personally, I don't see an issue with this law. I think that at the end of the day, those who are against it will work hard to, to change it. But if we have to work under the tenets of SB4, we're gonna do so in a way that remains equitable that is not impactful to our citizens, that it maintains the relationships that we have worked so hard to build over the many years. And I, I certainly welcome anybody who has an incident to reach out to me to discuss it. Because we'll, we'll make sure that we are, are towing the line in our relationship. All right? So thank you. And again, uh, just to, um, to echo what uh, Chief Merkel said, we do meet on, on a regular basis, and if we have concerns, we're always bringing up the table. Uh, so um, just to let the community know, we are in, in touch with the law enforcement, and uh, we do work well hand in hand. So uh, uh, you're right, we do not have that problem here, and I don't foresee it happening, but uh, Senate Bill 4 is, uh, is an important bill and the community needs to know what can possibly happen once it's implemented. But if it's up to LULAC National, hopefully they will block it before it is enforced. You want to say anything? Now, uh, a couple of words from the National Commander from the JAC Forum. Thank you all for being here. Um, first of all, you know, I have a lot of confidence in local law enforcement because we, we don't make the national headlines of things of that people may consider was abuse and, or you know where we mistreated people. So I have a lot of confidence in law enforcement. The concern that I have is the people that are in the French, and I don't think it will happen here. Does anybody remember the Stanford experiments? Where, where there was a, an experiment where they were supposed to be shocking people. They'd ask him a question, even if they answered it wrong, the instructor would tell the other student to increase the, the, the voltage, the current. But it was all, well, it wasn't real, but people start believing those things and they think they're going to get additional power to do things. And that's the concern. Not that I have a concern that it will ha happen here because I'm quite happy here. But uh, there could be issues in, in, in other areas of the country or not the, of the state 
that could have possibly happened. And I think that uh, working with the chief and uh, even uh, the chair, when he, you know, I think that we could all come up with positive results and not make the national news of, of things that would that happened here. Any questions? Okay, we're available if you guys want to do one, especially uh, Una Vision in Spanish. We're available for that if you want to do it. Uh, yes, ma'am. I have a question for Chief Martin. Sure. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, Chief Martin, do you find merit in the opposition from the larger metropolitan area of police chiefs and kind of where they're coming from and the post Sure, I, I understand the whole thing. I think um, chiefs don't want to lose discretionary power, it's important. They, they want to be able to direct their law enforcement agency in the way that they think best suits their community. So anytime you lose discretion, as is done in SB4, I'm not happy about that myself, then, then there's a concern. So I, I, I do find merit in what other chiefs are saying. At the end of the day, we're compelled to follow the law, uh, but we also want discretionary power on, on uh, how we use our law enforcement. We're all we're all using limited resources with an obligation to public safety to fight crime in that area. So we need to retain our discretion to do so. Can I ask you? Sure. Um, all the, the policy in place right now with the local level policy, is that going to change at all as we proceed? Change change? Very, very minor changes. We've mirrored our policy. Uh, we've, we've reflected over our policy and SB4 over the last week. Uh, it, uh, <coughs> That's what I was alluding to earlier. Our policy has reflected most of the tenants of SB4 for many years. But the, the good thing about our law enforcement agency is that our culture is such that we've always maintained a respectful relationship with our community. We, SB4 primarily discourages chiefs from, keeps chiefs from discouraging officers about asking immigration status. We've never discouraged that. Our officers have just practiced common sense policing and do so when it's germane to the investigation. Is it, is it going to be a big change, as you said? As, uh, no, no, I, I don't anticipate. There, there may be a few words changing, if anything. Yes, as far as your discretionary power on if you are to think that you know, there's a problem with the arrest or detain, like what would that rationale be? Would you make that available or educate the public as to what exactly it is that you would be, who you would be picking up? in terms of like criminal activity? Our, our, our focus will remain the same. We focus on criminal activity, we focus on maintaining the peace, preventing crime, that's not gonna change. And that, that will be the impetus of our contacts. Okay. That, that won't change. Um, also, I'm part of the Corpus Christi Immigration Coalition, so we have had town hall meetings with you and mm -hmm. also with the sheriff, um, where there was a significant response from the community that was terrified and scared, and so, um, we also approached the Chamber of Commerce, and they um, were not going to take a position on uh, anti-SB4, but they did support uh, the Village Act. And so just trying to get into some of these circles and spheres as far as um, being recognized and legitimized and we have the agency in our community. So would you all commit to working with the Public Street Integration Coalition? What we commit to is, is law enforcement in this area. Those groups who are committed to fight the bill or, or push against the bill, we'll do so. What we will do is follow the law. What we will do is fight crime and deter crime in Corpus Christi. We're not going to take a stance or take a political stump. Okay. We're going to keep doing what we do best, and that's fight crime. And is there a special training for officers in this change? There, there, there won't be. Our culture is, is, is good. Our officers are well trained. They're, they're already interacting with the community. I, I don't foresee a big change. Any other questions? Thank you. Not, uh, we want to thank you for, for coming. We just want to make sure